hunter had a dead breast. The hunter's prime me bears right there. And I just whispered real quiet, neck him. Like, neck him. Boom! Boom! It's all the shot fly. Boom! Uh, the grizzly drops into the willow. He jacks another one in. I'm holding onto the onto the silver, uh, the old burnt out tree trunks. You know, <laughs> pucker factor is about a 20 out of 10. The hunter's sitting there and we're just sitting there frozen. Staring at the spot where this, this grizzly bear just dropped. Five minutes into standing there not seeing anything. The hunter turns on facing me like this. I smoked him. I'm like, shut up. Idiot, what are you doing? So no sooner that I looked at him went Tap. All of a sudden, you know, right there, 10 yards, you can hear this And you hear the most evil, angry, brutal, barrel, chest, voiced, uh, rumble through your frickin' soul sound is belting out of the willow right there like right there and it's getting louder and it's getting louder and louder and angrier and louder and angrier <laughs> there's probably finger marks in those two two tree trunks and i'm just staring her frozen thinking holy shit now what <laughs> you know and uh there's so many grizzlies in that burn these are mountain grizzlies too they're not coastal fish fed fish fed brown bears this is mountain grizzly bears, and you are not going to get a worse attitude in any uh, predator, mammal, than a, a mountain grizzly bear in North America. It's not going to happen. The bear is freaking out. The hunter's still standing there, this willow up to like just past your waist, or maybe your waist height willow, and you can't see, you just can't see in front of you. And he's in that willow, and he is going off, and he's not dying. It's, the sounds aren't getting any quieter. It's not slowing down. And he is going ape shit. You know, as the guide, and knowing what can happen, you know what's going down, I'm like, well, okay, do I go up and get the gun? Do I go in there? Should I go up and get the gun off this dude and go in there and smoke this thing? Or do I send him in there? Should I send him in there? Is he gonna shit himself through the gun? and have this bear on top from shredding. Does the bear know we're there? I don't think so, obviously. Um, and right when I'm, I'm, this is all going down in like two seconds, three seconds, these thoughts. And all of a sudden, the hunter turns around and goes like this. Y'all want me to go in there and smoke him again? You okay with that? Hell yeah. All right, man. You got one in the tube, get the safety off, get your gun up now. And, and slowly what? step in on there and, and, and duel. Guy's got his gun up, and he's slowly going in, and he's slowly going in, and he's slowly going in like this, and I'm slowly backing up, I'm slowly backing up. I don't even have a frickin' pocket knife on me. I mean, nothing. I got nothing. Not even a stick. There's nothing I can do. I'm 100% helpless. I guess I could stand there and scream like a girl guy, but that's about it. So anyways, I'm backing up a little bit, and all of a sudden you see him tense up. Boom! Boom! Shot three more times. And then the sound stopped. Shit, thank God. And I go up there. Now get this one. He was shooting a frickin' monster of a gun, too. It was a 7mm SDW, that's it. Just as frickin' round like a, a bazooka. But anyway, um, the bear was facing us. His whole body was facing us. And I remember he was running that way, and he spun around. Boom. Well, he was facing us, and just as if a four-wheel drive was stuck in the sand and it burned down four ruts for all four tires, he had four burnout marks for all four paws, and his nose was folded underneath his body, wrapped under his body all the way to his butthole because he could not pick up his head because the hunter, his bullet did not sever the bone. It didn't hit any bone in that neck bone. It had shot a little high, and all of the muscle, and all the, the meat and the muscle in the top of that grizzly's neck was jello and completely blown apart in about the space of a pie plate on top of it. It was all gone. So he didn't even have one fiber of muscle fiber left to pick his head up, but he hurt us. And you know, you're not gonna, that didn't, obviously doesn't, that doesn't kill anything. 
there's no artery up there. He didn't sever the bone. That sucker was alive. You know, if it had, if that bone, it might have skipped, maybe hit one of those little vertebrae or something, because they did a shitload of damage in that meat. They didn't just burn a hole through. Otherwise, uh, you know, it would have been pretty ugly. But, but, but the neck bone was not broken. Um, he must have clipped something, you know, in the top of it, a little bit of that, that vertebrae wing or whatever. He must have, because it, it was just 